here's the 190 that uh, is finally running well, well enough to show. And uh, I'll start off with the new exhaust system. So it's running E85, which I figured would uh, help with detonation. And I just did the piping straight into the intake. And uh, we have a Ford uh, throttle position sensor down there. Uh, Ford EDIS 6 uh, ignition coil set. And then uh, over here, we have a 3000 GT ignition module, which is awesome because you get three outputs with your three ECU inputs. Uh, we just have a simple fuse block. And um, we have our crank position. Well, it's cam, it's running off the cam, but uh, we have. Uh, you can see there's a missing tooth down here and there's also a missing tooth right there. So we have two missing teeth which gives us two, rot two rotations for every one cam rotation so we can keep it on uh, the crank setting. So uh, every two rotations of the crank is a full cycle and one one rotation of the cam is uh, is a full cycle. So these are just some Honda Civic wires I got. They're pretty awesome because they're uh, eight millimeter, and they fit into the stock stock location pretty pretty nicely. Um, the boost is just set to wastegate pressure, so it's just coming off st straight here. And inside uh, the stock manifolds go back all the way back and then we have a uh, collector that brings them both to the front to the bottom of the turbo um, here's a uh, Mercedes VR sensor uh, with a pretty tight gap um, the stock cam or the stock RPM sensor I'm not using, which I, I should probably hook up so I can have RPM. I just use it off uh, Bluetooth for now from the ECU. Um, this motor is a new motor from an 87, I believe. The car is a 93, but it had issues, so we swapped it out with uh, the odometer on this motor said 70,000. 73,000 however I'm sure it's a lot more than that but it had really nice green coolant transmission was nice everything was really nice uh, it was just in a really old car so I took it and now we have a pretty new motor um, here's the compression not too good however it's running fine for now fuel rail I just capped this off because it's the uh, vacuum for the fuel and then inside there's some stuff you can take out so it's free flowing and then I just have it going to a uh, pressure regulator right here um, the pressure regulator is about 75 psi right now I should probably lower that because I don't need that much um, as far as the fuel rail, it's M104 fuel rail and it fits really nice here. And then the injectors are going to be, I think it's a 3.8 liter GM V6. You can decap the injectors. There's a couple of videos on that. You just grind off the, the, the tips and now they turn into like 700cc injectors and they're really, they're pretty reliable compared to my older ones, which were not that reliable at all. Um, I'll go over the coolant sensor is right here. Uh, that's going to the ECU. Um, you just have to calibrate it to the values that that sensor has. 
which I put in boiling water and then took the value and then took the value at room temperature, which is my bias, and then took the value at uh, like 32 degrees in the freezer, which was the low point. And then those three points, you can really map the characteristics of these sensors. Um, and then the stock sensors back there, which goes to this green wire, which goes to inside, so I know if it's overheating, which it never has. Uh, it's, it runs really cool, actually. These motors are known to run really hot, and then the head warps, and then you get a messed up head gasket. But this one runs really fine. I have no issues with the coolant. Um, so the ECU wiring, we have all of our injector outputs here, which run along. And I have everything, so we have injectors, so we have injectors, VR sensor, which is this wire. This is off my CNC machine. Uh, and then we have um, this uh, connector right here, which uh, feeds it straight to the ECU. And then I just have a little relay turning on that fuse block. And my wideband sensor is on the bottom right here a horrible place this used to point downward but I didn't have enough room to get past all the piping so I need to redo the exhaust system remount the turbo and then I could run the exhaust back so for now it's just sticking straight up out of the hood there's the hole so there's a lot of uh, things I need to do to make it look nice but as far as reliability and it running well Runs great. I'll do a quick startup. get some poles in when I can have someone else uh, film because it's kind of hard to drive uh, filming correctly and and also uh, making sure the car is on track but um, we'll just drive down the street for now tuning to do. Uh, I just recently found some issues, which were my injectors. They're just crappy injectors, so I replaced them and everything decided to run perfect, so I'll do some more, uh, I'll do 
some more tuning and then we can do some wide open throttle pulls. And any questions, uh, just let me know.